Value Trades. Welcome to the Value Trades Basic Trading Course. This is a series of videos designed to launch the journey of beginning traders in every aspect of trading with value trades. In this video, let's take a look at oscillators. As we saw in the last lesson on Bollinger Bands, combining an indicator with an oscillator can help to confirm a trading decision. A typical oscillator is a type of indicator used in trading that moves between two levels on a graph, so therefore, by definition, it oscillates. Oscillators are used by all levels of traders to indicate or confirm changes in direction or reversals as we call them. There are a variety of oscillators available on MT4 and we will look at three of them. In our video on Bollinger Bands, we looked at using the stochastic oscillator as a confirmation tool to attempt to spot reversals in conjunction with the bands. Just select this as you would any other indicator and leave the settings as you find them. When you click OK, this indicator nests itself in a separate window below the main chart and you may alter the height. You can use your crosshairs here to align the data across multiple windows. The stochastic oscillator consists of two moving averages which compare the closing price of each candle to a set period and plots the results between 0 and 100. In simplistic terms, the stochastic oscillator measures the change in momentum of price action change. A figure over 80 indicates that the asset may be overbought and a move to the downside may occur, and conversely, figures below 20 may indicate an oversold situation and we may be looking at a reversal to the upside. Typically, we want to see the two moving averages cross to the other direction before we consider opening a position. Let's go back to our indicators list and select oscillators and MACD. Like stochastics, the moving average convergence divergence, MACD, uses two moving averages. It compares short-term market momentum to long-term market momentum. The MT4 version of this indicator consists of a histogram and a signal line. The premise is that when the signal line exits the histogram, we may anticipate a reversal. Also, when MACD rises above or below the zero line, we may label the current market as either bearish or bullish. Next, we have the Relative Strength Index, or RSI. This is a momentum indicator and looks at the speed and price action comparing average losses to the average gains over the last 14 periods. The RSI can be used in two ways. Firstly, as the indicator oscillates between 0 and 100, we can consider anything below 50 a downtrend and anything above 50 an uptrend. And similar to the stochastic oscillator, anything above 70 may be overbought and anything below 30 may be oversold. That's all for now. In the next lesson, we will be looking at advanced oscillators. Happy trading with value trades and we will see you soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.